This movie is presented by System Vlog Academy and please do subscribe to our channel to watch more System Vlog design, verification and UVM videos. Writing UVM classes in general. In the previous session you have learned that there are two categories of classes in general in UVM which are UVM component classes and UVM data classes. And now onwards you need to write your own classes which are deriving from the standard UVM classes to make your own UVM based environment. To help that process, in this session you will be learning a generalized code for each, each of these category of classes. That is, you will be learning how a generic UVM component class will look like and also you will learn how this UVM data classes will look like. First you will learn component classes. This is a generalized form of any UVM component classes and this is applicable for all of these classes either a UVM test or a environment ENV, an agent, sequencer, driver or monitor. We will learn all of them in general and uh, when you go through the examples it will be helpful for you to understand if you, if you know the general structure of all of these classes. So, First is your own class name, say here it is my component which is extending from the corresponding UVM component. So if you are writing your test then you will be extending from the UVM test. If you are writing your ENV you will be extending from the UVM ENV and so on. Also it is possible to extend from the UVM component itself but as a beginner you don't need to use uh, classes which are extending directly from the UVM component. Immediately after the class name definition, the first line in any of the UVM component classes should be a factory registration macro. So this is the factory registration macro which is uh, common for all of these classes. So uh, whether you are use, uh, using a UVM test or a UVM agent or UVM driver, for all of them you will be using the same macro with, with name UVM underscore component underscore utils. Since it is a macro, you need to use this simple which is specific to the system where syntax and also with, within the bracket you need to write give the pass the same name which you had given for this class in the beginning so if, if it is my component here it should be again my component here now at this point you might be wondering what is a factory registration so this is a special mechanism provided with the uvm library and it's a powerful technique to reuse your UVM components, your own de derived UVM components without changing the actual code in several places. At this point, you don't need to bother what is a fact, what is UVM factory and how it is utilized, but you just understand that with every UVM derived classes, you have to give a factory registration macro immediately after the first line of this class definition. And for all of these component classes, the factory registration macro name is UVM underscore component underscore utils. Also note that since it is a system will look macro, you will not be writing a semicolon after this macro definition. Next, you will define all the internal members of the class which is same as that of in any system will look specific class. And first you can give all the virtual interfaces which need to be part of this class. As you have learned from the previous session, the only classes which are directly uh, interacting with the DUT is a driver class and a monitor class. So this part, a virtual interface def handle definition will be uh, part of only a driver class or a monitor class and none of other classes will have a virtual interface handle within it. Next you can list all the internal uh, members of this class which could include other UVM component classes as well. For example, if this is an agent class, it should contain a handle of a driver class, a monitor class and a sequencer class. After all the internal variable declaration, next you need to write all the functions and tasks which are specific for this UVM components. These are the methods which you need to write for all of these classes. So like in any system video class, you need to specify a new function which is a constructor of the class. Next is a build phase function and next is a connect phase function. and also you need to write a run phase task. For the time being you can ignore what is the content of these class, these functions and tasks but just understand that in all these UVM component classes you need to write all these functions. You need to write a build phase function, a connect phase function and a task which is run phase tasks. 
There could be additional functions like end of elaboration, start of simulation, etc., which you can ignore at this point. And to summarize this session, this is a general outline of any of the UVM component classes listed here. So those will be extending from the corresponding component class, like a driver will be extending from a UVM driver, and an ENV will be extending from a UVM ENV and so on. And next, immediately after the first statement, you will write the factory registration macros and if there are any virtual interfaces you will list them and it comes all the member member variables and other member classes of this class followed by a new function a build phase function a connect phase function and a run phase task in the previous lecture you have seen how to write any uvm component classes in general now you will learn the generic structure of UVM data classes. So as we have already explained, the, there are only two UVM data classes that you will use in, in a UVM based test range, which are a class to represent your sequence and a class to represent your transaction. So the sequences are extended from the UVM sequence class and the transactions are extended from the UVM sequence item class. So this is how your uh, class, your transaction class looks like in general. So the class, you can give any class name for your transaction and they all of them should extend from the UVM sequence item. And next is the uh, factory registration macro for the uh, data classes. For the data classes, the factory registration macro is UVM object utils. If you remember from the previous session, the factory registration macro for the component classes were UVM component utils and for uh, for the sequences and the transactions they are UVM object utils. After the factory registration macro you will list down all the data members of the transaction class. Typically those will be the uh, transaction items that is getting exercised in a particular interface. It could be the individual items of a structure whatever it is. And after the generic data member declarations, you can you might write constraints specific to these data members. Constraint is a system where log specific concept and it is not new in UVM. So UVM is just using the system where log constraints. So it's not necessary that you should use constraint, but typically you, you might want to use constraints in uh, in especially transaction classes. Also note that the data members could be declared as random variables just by adding the RAND keyword in system log. If you are not familiar with the random uh, keyword and the constraints in system log, you can quickly go through any of the system log specific um, manual or just understand that just by adding the RAND keyword, you, will, you are making this, this value of this member as a random value when you are calling a dot randomize function with this object with any of the object of this particular class and constraints are added to limit the randomness of these random members in such a way that which is limiting which is generating valid uh, stimulus to the DUT. after adding the constraints you want to write the, the function which are specific to the sequence item class in UVM. So these are the standard system will look construct new function and also you might want to write few of other functions like do copy, do compare etc. In most of the cases you have to write an implementation of a do copy and do compare class for the transactions and the functions will get called automatically when a copy function and compare function is getting called with any object of this transaction. For the time being, you can ignore these functions, but just understand that this is a general outline of any UVM specific transaction. So this transaction will be extending from the UVM sequence item. It will have the factory registration macros followed by the member variables and the constraints, if any, and you also will see the definitions of these functions in, in the transactions. Next is the generic outline of any UVM sequence class. So the sequence classes will be extending from the UVM underscore sequence class. Here the class name is my sequence 
and also note that this immediately after the first statement you will give the factory registration macro for the data classes which are uvm object utils within the bracket you will pass the name of this class as the argument to this factory registration macro and after that you can define or declare any data members for this class if there are any and these are the functions and tasks which, uh, which are present in the UVM sequence class. So there should be a new function, the constructor functions like in all other classes. And also there is a task named body. So this task named body is specific to UVM sequences. You will not see any uh, these tasks with the name body in any of other classes, either in the UVM sequence item class or in any of the UVM component class. This is the main uh, method of this UVM sequence class. This is where you will write the intelligence of the class inside the class definition. So all your functionalities or most of the functionalities will be written within the body task of the UVM sequence. This is presented by System Value Academy and if you like the video, please do subscribe our channel for more System Value design, verification and UVM videos. Also, don't forget to take a look at the different playlists that we have created in our channel, which will teach a set of selected topics in System Verilog. Thank you for watching.